Welcome to a small mod showcase. Today we'll be looking at Frogs' Magma mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. Uh, if you wondered what that was all about, that was an intro suggested by by someone. So if you have an idea for a crazy weird intro, then just leave it in the comments and I'll do it. So basically this mod is um, a fairly new mod and it so consequently it doesn't have that much added but I chose this mod because it looks like it has a lot of potential if you're wondering what this birch tree with a jack-o-lantern as the wood uh, this is from a mod I was playing around with earlier and it's still and the structure it spawned is still here so I'll um, so I'm gonna leave that anyway because it looks kind of cool and yeah so over, let's get into the mod as I hope you'll find that it looks pretty cool too. So over here we have the cooling cube. Now you'll need this for um, the main block which will be created, which um, the main item I should say. So it's crafted with glass and a bucket of water and you to, to use, you put it in the crafting table surrounded by eight blocks of lapis and th that will create you one freeze furnace so let's take the freeze furnace out and place it down next to our lovely birch tree and as you can see it look is nice and blue so it stands out okay so let's look inside now at the moment it doesn't have a texture as of yet but as i said this mod is pretty new so hopefully that'll be added soon so let's throw our cooling cubes in there that we made with the glass and the water bucket. And let's throw in a water bucket and see what happens. So as you can see, it's like it's smelting, except it's doing the opposite and it's freezing. So like it throws the bucket of water and we also get our bucket back, it gives us one block of ice. Now, this is a good way of obtaining ice without the bother and hassle of a silk touch pickaxe. So let's put that down. And yeah, so that is what you do when you freeze water. So let's see what happens when if we try and freeze a bucket of lava. So it's smelting, and once its process is done, it will create give us hardened magma. Let's take our bucket, and obviously we get our buckets back, which is pretty good. And we'll also place it next to this lovely tree. Now, as you can see, this magma box. This magma block looks pretty cool. Um, its use, its main use, is for this pickaxe, which is called the magma pickaxe. Now, it's crafted using three blocks of magma, obtained like I just showed you there, and two blaze rods acting as sticks. So, let's go down into our mine and see how good this thing is it basically has 2000 durability which is meaning it has about 500 more uses than a diamond pickaxe and even though it's not as efficient i think you'll agree that it is pretty gonna be pretty useful to you anyway so it, with enchantments it would be very um very uh op i should say so 
let's get a few different things here from our man-made mine. Let's even try some obsidian. So, yeah, so it's not, and let's see if you actually get the obsidian. I've not tested this out yet, but hopefully we'll have some luck and get it. Yes, so we do get the obsidian block as well. So you don't need to use the diamond pickaxe. So this is another alternative, which is an excellent alternative. So let's throw our findings back on in that chest. And as you can see, it's got eight attack damage, so you can use it as a weapon, as well as the durability shown below there. So over here we have some more items, except they're not really, um, they don't really have much of a purpose at the moment. So here we have the obsidian bricks, crafted by putting four obsidian in the crafting table, and we get these. So if we place them down next to our magma block, we can see that they're a bit like nether bricks you find at a nether fortress, except they're like obsidian encrusted, you could say. Now, they don't really have much of a purpose at the moment, but they kind of look pretty cool, and so I think they're for aesthetic purposes. We also have another, which is ice bricks, and that's created by putting four ice in the crafting table. Let's place that down on the other side of our hardened magma. Now, this block also looks pretty cool, so you could build like a house out of that, and that would be like pimped out. So that's one more thing I want to show you. Uh, this is the very small blueberry. It doesn't have anything, any like purpose, like the blocks, and you can't place them down either. Um, there's not real. You can't freeze them or smelt it or use it to craft anything. But hopefully, as I said, this is not fully developed. So hopefully, we'll see more stuff added in the future. So. This is the end of this mod. Um, it's pretty cool. I hope you agree. Um, so leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll leave a link to Frog Frog Frogs's Twitter page in the description, so you can go and give him some comments on what you think of his mod. Hopefully, it will uh, give him some support to um, try and keep developing this mod in the future. So I hope you enjoyed and yeah, so see you next time.